Hey parents, this is Kyle Stottleman. I'm here to quickly share with you a, a tip on figuring out what exactly your child has missing according to PowerSchool. Now we have been using Google Classroom to push out assignments, but really PowerSchool is where we house the grades for the assignments. And that's what you should go off of when you're trying to figure out what has been turned in and what has not been turned in. And uh, in order to do that, what you need to do is go to the Eudora Schools website and when you get to the Eudora Schools website, right from the main page, you'll go to Parents and Students, and you'll go down to Power School for Parents. Now, scroll down a little bit until you get to this, have you logged into Power School before to view your students' grades and attendance information. This is where you will uh, go. You have more than likely logged in because you did enrollment on PowerSchool, and I'm willing to bet that this will be suffice just to click on that link and to put in your username and password. If you don't know what your username and password is, just click here, but you have made one of these uh, for enrollment. So I'm going to sign in. This is from my own parent perspective here, and we're going to look at my three kids. You immediately will uh, look at the top left. You see the, the children that you have that are enrolled in Eudora. Now you might have one, you might have a few. I have three and we're going to focus on Kennedy because she is in the middle school and it, I kind of get a little bit more detailed grades with her. So I go to Kennedy. You have to click on your child to get to that specific place. And right away, just scroll down a little bit from here. You don't have to scroll really. Missing assignments. That's all you got to do. Click it and you will have a list. Now mine is in semester two, so you might want to click on quarter four. But you will have a list that is updated through PowerSchool that has whatever is missing from your child. Now, in order for it to be marked as missing, the teacher does need to mark it as missing in PowerSchool, but we are doing that. So anything on this list is missing. I will say it might have been turned in in the last day or two uh, or longer than that, and we just maybe haven't graded it yet. But these would be assignments that are late missing have not been turned in yet if you want to go into more detail on these uh, there's a many different ways you can do this you can click on the assignment here and it'll take you right there uh, the course is science i'm just going to back up to the grades attendance and i'm going to go to science this is something else i would recommend you all do is quarter four science actually click on this grade and you will get a very detailed description of all of the assignments that your child has had in that specific class. I have a few icons popping up that are uh, that I need to look at. This orange exclamation mark, if you go down here to the bottom, that's where it says missing. So this assignment is the one that's missing. This blue half circle is incomplete. You might also see some red in there uh, for late. These greens just mean they've been collected. So if I really want to figure out what this assignment is, May 11th through 17th, this I right here tells me that Mrs. Hammerschmidt has provided details about this assignment too, which I can click on view over here. And look at that. I have all of the information I need for the assignment. So if your child's like, hey, I don't really know what it is. Well, okay, there it is right there. Uh, we're trying to cut down. Uh, we're, trying to, we're trying to just directly communicate as well as we possibly can with parents. So there's the description. I would also like to show you down here, it will say when the teacher has last input grades into PowerSchool. Now, just personally, it's a lot of work to input grades. I do it once a week. So if uh, I, I, I will grade on Mondays. And if your child has turned something in late and they maybe turn it in on Monday, but it was due from the previous week or from weeks ago, it's going to be a while till I get to it. So please uh, do realize that just because it got it turned in, it's, it still has to be graded by us. and That might take a few days. But you can see when the teacher has last updated, you can see the assignments, you can see the scores. And just this tab right here is really nice. This missing assignments. And right away, there we go. I can see what Kennedy has and then I can go get her and say, let's go to work. Thanks for watching. Reach out to us if you have any questions.